Ba-ding! Hey guys, Marcus Stewart here, and it is Wednesday, which means it is time for a new edition of Retro Wednesdays. The show where we step into a time machine and revisit games from yesteryear in an attempt to recapture our collective childhoods to escape the existential dread that comes with getting older. Today I'm going to be looking at a game I've never played before, and that is Sonic the Fighters fighting game from the mid-90s based in the Sonic universe that was actually the very first 3D Sonic game. Screw you, Sonic 3D Blast, you don't count. First and foremost, though, on a serious note, I would like to say that, um, you know, in light of everything going on right now in the world, uh, you know, I just want to express my support for the uh, Black Lives Matter movement, um, you know, just all the different protests going on right now, absolutely 100% have my support. Um, and the link, if you see the description, of my of this video i should say um i'll have some links to some um, different charities that i've uh myself donated to um that you know if you would like to help if you're not able to go out and protest you know if you'd like to to help in any way i'll have links there if you want to donate uh just to to the to the cause um if you are out protesting um you know just all i can say is remember to, first of all thank you and also um be safe uh try to keep your cool and just be vigilant out there it's crazy right now but uh you know any any help matters. Any help matters. That's what I was gonna say. Any help matters. That doesn't sound very eloquent, but it makes sense. You know, your support um, definitely matters. You know, we are all making a difference right now, or trying to at least. And I think, you know, as a someone that tries to be uh, positive, I think this will. Uh, Sooner or later, I think this will, will pay off in our favor. So before we get to Sonic Fighters, if you're wondering why I didn't uh, post an update to the Aladdin episode, it was because of some technical difficulties. So I recorded part two of Aladdin, and then uh, it turned out the entire, like the sound, somehow uh, the sound didn't come through, at least for the gameplay. It was just silence, and it came off really bad. And because I advanced pretty far in the game, like towards the end maybe, I don't know, but it was like over an hour of gameplay, um, I can't really go back and play it again. Also, the levels I played were really hard, so it would be uh, it would it would be disingenuous, at least in my eyes, to try to replay that. And you know, it had not be my first time playing it again. I would also have to replay the game from the very beginning. So for now, unless you guys want it, I was just gonna say like, okay, maybe we'll let that Aladdin episode be a one-off. For now, um, you know, if you want me to try to go back to that point, like replay the game again and get back to wherever I was in that video, I guess hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think either way. You know, if you if you want it, I'll, I'll make it happen. But that's the reason why. And finally, before we start, of course, if you remember the, uh, the, the ritual of Retro Wednesdays is that I have to enjoy a snack from yesteryear to get me in the mood of being back in the 90s or being a kid, a teenager, early teen again. And uh, the snack I chose today was uh, these babies right here. You might recognize them if you've been to any grocery store and you went to the snack keg aisle. They're zebra cakes. Why are they called zebra cakes? Well, I'll give you one guess why they're called zebra cakes. It's because they taste like zebra. I haven't had these or really any snack cakes in a, in a very, very long time, but I'm excited to, uh, to, to dive into one of these. These were always one of my favorite ones as a kid. Oh, wow, this is sticky. Let's take a bite. Here we go. Mmm. Man, that's, uh... That cake is, uh, barely tastes like real cake. <laughs> mm. <laughs> like, it definitely tastes like a, uh, a, a thing that costs, like, under $2 for a full box. Um, not terrible, but, uh, they, they don't hold up. Maybe I, I have a refined palate now. I only like the finest of junk foods. Let's wash that down with the always good, never ages, Capri Sun. Still delicious after all these years. All right, we're set, so let's play some Sonic the Fighters. Okay, here we are, Sonic the Fighters, with the uh, title screen that looks like it was made in MS Paint by a uh, like middle schooler. Um, no music, that's weird. Uh, yeah, let's make some new save data, because I'm totally gonna come back to this. I mean, maybe, who knows? I've never played this, maybe it's all right. Um, Xbox Live, is there, are, they, are there people right now playing? Okay, we're gonna try that in a little bit. We're gonna play some arcade <laughs> first. Um, Man, no music for a Sonic game. One of the best, like one of the most reliable series when it comes to soundtracks, um, especially the earlier ones. Um, don't ask me about Crush 40. Uh, you might be upset to hear what I think about Crush 40 soundtrack. I guess this is it. Um, there we go. All right. So we're going to be, we got Sonic, 
Tails, Fang the Sniper, Bean the Dynamite. What? That's not an animal. I mean, Sniper's not an animal either. Like, that's a... I know, I know these two characters. Like, he's a duck. Right? Or a parrot? He's got a duck bill. Wait, what? No! I don't want to be Bean! Oh, he's son of bitches. I didn't... <laughs> okay, we're Bean the Dynamite. Oh, boy. How do you... Oh, just some, like, really, like, kind of can-can marching band, like, kicks here. When the saints come marching in. Is he shooting? Okay, I thought I kicked something on the field, but he's just shooting. Yeah, I'll just keep doing that over and over. Oh, when the saints come marching in. Oh, I want to be in that number. All right, what else can you do? Can peck. So, so I'm playing this on Xbox, obviously. X is block. Triangle is headbutt, or I guess face attack. Can you combo? And then B is can can kicks. Oh, and A also does the. Man, he's. Knuckles is getting destroyed. So this game originally came out on arcades. Uh, I did some light uh, research for this game because I am a I am a a game journalist sometimes. So I, I know how to prepare. Oh, look at this flying carpet stage. That's kind of, oh, look at that Sonic Sphinx. But um, but yeah, this game originally came out, I think, uh, 96 in arcades. Um, originally it was gonna come to Sega Saturn, but that never happened. So the first time this game actually came to home, home consoles was on, um, I forget which Sonic collection, but it was one of the Sonic collections that were, I believe it was 2005 or mid 2000s. And then this, the version I'm playing now uh, came to, 360 and I think PS3 as well in like 2012 and I believe it added two new characters so maybe being the dynamite were I it, I don't know which characters weren't in it before but my gut tells me it was Bean and Fang are the new people but correct me if I'm wrong and oh 40 okay if nothing else I like the achievements that I'm getting 40 look at that um so it's a lot of uh Oh, I can run. Okay, I got a... Jesus Christ, yeah, I, I like this game now. This, game, this is my favorite game now, I think. So I got grabs. They're kind of executed the same way in most fighting games, like by pushing two of the face buttons. Oh, man, I thought you could ring out, but no. I mean, I guess this was probably up a bit for the home console release, but, like, I... This looks all right. Like, at least the 3D is really clean. Like, it honestly looks like how, um... Some indie developers have been trying to um, make games that kind of evoke the, you know, PS1, N64 era, like the, the, the first 3D console games. Like stuff like A Hat in Time or um, that Ion Fury game that came out last year and just came to every other platform a few weeks ago, uh, which I still need to play. It looks really good. Um, it kind of looks like that. Like if you released this today and said that someone was just trying to make like a retro style Sonic fighting game. Um, first, I would say that person's um, crazy, but I'm interested. But also, I would look at it and be like, yeah, that looks about right. Bark? I don't know Bark. I'm a Sonic fan. Um, in spite of his games not really being all that great, um, at least post-Genesis, like, I'm one of those fans. Oh, wait, actually, I wanted to change characters. Can I switch fighters? Uh... I don't want to do that. Wait, I have a command list? Let's see. P, 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 P. It's like, how advanced are the combos here? They seem pretty basic for the most part. Okay, now we're getting to more complicated stuff. All right. Um, You know, the thing I always do in every fighting game is do the Hadouken motion. Because Hadouken always does something for most fighters. So let's see what it does here, if anything at all. Uh, get, it, it got me my ass kicked. That's what it does. Um, by Bark the... What is what is Bark? Is he like a... You would think... I would assume a dog, right? If his name's Bark? But, I mean, I guess he kind of looks like a dog. Which I was, I was about to say, like, they're surprisingly given all the different kind of... And Jesus Christ. It's like different... Given the different kind of animals in Sonic, it's kind of surprising there hasn't been, like, a dog before. But I guess Tails... Kinda counts like a fox is a type of canine. All right, we're gonna 
let this go because I want to pick Sonic. So I did not want to be Bean the Dynamite, Bean the Duck, whatever he is. So we'll let him throw his like little tantrum. He's like Christian in 2002 WB. All right, so there we go. That's who we want. Automatic or manual? It's like a car. I don't know what it. I don't know what it picked. I assumed red was the selection, but the blue flash. Right? All right, so let's see what Sonic can do. He can also can can. Little and a happy little march there. Seems like he should be marching across the screen to introduce the the feature presentation. Okay, I was gonna say like, does he have any like spin dash like Sonic moves? <laughs> Knuckles looks like he's laughing his ass off. He doesn't look like he's hurt. He looks like he's literally just belly laughing on the ground. Like this is hysterical to him. And I got a perfect, and that got me 60 achievement points. So this game, I, I give this game a uh, early review, four out of five stars, nine out of ten, whatever scale you want to use, just because it gives you some pretty meaty achievements for doing next to nothing. Oh look, he's got the kind of like hand clap too. So does everyone just have the same general moves, and then maybe one? character specific move like a spin dash or I don't know what Knuckles would do maybe he can maybe he just has like a Superman punch I'm gonna take another bite of zebra cake man it's not as good as I man I don't know why I did that <laughs> I immediately forgot like oh this isn't as good as I remembered it being but it's retro Wednesday you gotta do it can, can, can. Mm. So this is OG Amy, like when she was first introduced, when she basically looked like, basically Pink Sonic, literally, because she's also a hedgehog. You know, I had a very different outfit. It wasn't, I'm trying to think, like, what was the first game where, like, the modern design of Amy was introduced? Was it Sonic Adventure? I can't remember. My, um... My knowledge gets a little hazy around Sonic Adventure time, because that's kind of where I fell off the series. Like, I never had a Dreamcast. Surprise, surprise. Um, and I say that because not a lot of people did. <laughs> um, or at least not enough people did. Otherwise, probably be a better success story. Um, but I remember, you know, like everyone that saw Sonic Adventure for the first time being blown away by it, especially because I was a Genesis kid, and Sonic, to this day, remains my favorite video game character, and a lot of that is tied to nostalgia, but, you know. And um, playing the demo at my church, because my I went to this cool church where they had like a whole arcade for Sunday school to let the kids play video games before service started. So there was like N64s and Playstations and Dreamcasts set up everywhere. And we would just hang in there for the first hour until church started. And they had Sonic Adventure. And I played that opening level with the whale chasing me probably up a jillion million times. And was like, oh my god, this is amazing. And it was until, like, I got my hands on the full game at a friend's house that I played more of it and was just like, I don't like this as much as the, um, kind of, the side-scrollers. And that opinion's kind of remained. Like, I've played almost every modern 3 Sonic game with the hope that maybe this will be the one that, you know, gets the series back on track. But I've always been disappointed. Like, I'm not the biggest fan of Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. Um, you know, I played the entirety of Sonic 06 as a challenge to myself, and that was one of the hardest things I've ever done. That game's atrocious. Played a little bit of Shadow the Hedgehog. That game's garbage, but I kind of want to go back to it one day, just out of a morbid curiosity. Fuck you, Bark. <laughs> um, excuse me. <laughs> and, um, you know, stuff like uh, Sonic Sonic Colors, which was one of the better ones. Especially the, uh, the DS version of Sonic Colors. I've kind of tooted that game's horn for years, because I think it's an underrated, kind of like one of the forgotten good Sonic games from the modern era. Like, I kind of keep it up there with the Sonic Advance games of, like, good Sonic games that nobody talks about from kind of the dark ages of Sonic. But uh, the DS version of Sonic Colors, which is pretty much the same game, but as a 2D Sonic game. So imagine the color powers, but in a kind of classic-style Sonic game. It's real good. Recommend it. But, you know, Sonic Colors was okay. Not, not great, but one of the better ones. Sonic Generations, I love half of that game. Love the classic stuff. And uh, Sonic Boom, which I actually reviewed years ago, uh, was probably one of the most scathing reviews I've ever written. But I did love Sonic Mania. Sonic Mania was kind of an awakening. Oh, Espio, the chameleon. I know him from, um, from the Sonic X show, which I did watch when it aired. Son of a bitch, Espio. 
What the? I see you can air juggle people like it's Tekken. He's kind of doing that. Right? He was basically doing that, which... Would this be before Tekken? This game came out in 96? When did Tekken... Because Tekken, the first game... It was the same year or the year before? I don't know if it... When it... Oh my... Oh my god! Jesus! How do you block again? Okay. Okay, he's looking to block... Oh, shit! Not like SBO the Chameleon right now. He is... He... Wow. Okay. Right into the ring. I do like that. I think it's cool that you can throw people into the, the ring edge and it does damage. Let's run that back. Run that back, SBO. Ah, I love that can-can kick. I want to enter a fight doing that, like a real-life fight. I would lose, probably. Or maybe I would win because my opponent would be so weirded out. Like, what is he doing? That they, they would probably assume that if he's confident enough to do this goofy-ass looking attack, then it probably will work. Like, he, he wouldn't do this unless it was effective, so maybe I should just back down, because I don't have a defense for this, probably. There we go. I like that punch, too. Like... <clears throat> That's a better way to approach a real fight, is probably just to do that. Just to keep punching until you're the only one standing. Until you break the guard. Look at this karate chop that he's got. He's got karate action. There we go. I'm just to do that over and over. Okay, oh, he's starting to come back. He's starting to come back. And I was like, just do that. Just keep punching. No, that grab. Oh my god, that grab. So cheap. I only say it's cheap because it was used against me. Have I done Sonic's grab? I don't remember. It's, oh, what the? He jumped on me to do that? Okay, okay. I don't like this. Can I, I was like, can I, I was trying to grab him out the air. I was probably asking a bit too much of... Oh, okay. I don't know how he's doing that. Dead. You're dead. No. 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 No! No! Are you serious? That grab. I had him. I'm sorry, I have to beat Espio. I have to I have to get past this. So Espio the Chameleon, he's part of the like team Chaotix with the uh, Vector, the Alligator, and Charmy B. Who are, you know, like the you, like kind of the modern Sonic P oh, I guess not even modern, it's kind of the, uh, didn't he debut in Knuckles Chaotix for the Sega 32X? Or am I misremembering? I mean a team chaos again. He doesn't even have any life! He's just going to keep doing it. That's, that's his finishing move. When he's about to lose, he just goes for the grab. And look how much damage a grab does. I think that's pretty substantial, right? Oh, I got a running drop kick? Okay, I'm just going to I'm just gonna grab the shit out of him for the... Stop, stop. See? You see? Every time. Every time he's in... What is... What is this? With Espio. I gotta beat him. I gotta be I I Oh shit, he slapped the shit out of me this time. <laughs> Jesus. Why is Espio so hard? Okay. Oh my I'm so tired of that. Dude. Dude! What how is he Can I can everyone do a jumping elbow drop or is that just him? Uh, he is kicking my ass right now. See how he almost tried to open up with that little combo again. I'm trying to do my spin. Oh, like, wait. Did I just get superstars? I, I have superstars. How did I do that? All right. I'm going to roll. Mm. Mm. Get him. Get him. Get him. Yes. All right. But yeah, I do, again, I, I just keep, I'm really kind of admiring the 3D here. Like, I, this section looks really clean, like, I would, to the point where I, it'd be kind of cool to see, like, a regular style Sonic game done in this style. Like, I'd be down for that. You know, maybe sharpen up the backgrounds a bit, but the models look real nice. Get him, get him, get him, get him, what, that didn't hit him? Yes! Thank you, god damn it. Oh, man, I was terrified he was going to grab me again. How many stages are there? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, ta oh, tails. Oh no, my brother. Sort of. Not really, but they should play. If anyone's a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh, the song that plays in Duelist Kingdom when Yu-Gi and Joey have to duel each other, they're like, "We are closer than brothers, and now we have to fight each other, no matter what." That's what's playing right now. Whoa, what might it get darker? Oh, we're going through a tunnel. That's a nice little detail. Especially for the time. I'm gonna just keep. Wait, how is he. How do you sidestep? He was like. You see, Sonic got, like, confused. I'm, is it, like, a regular 3D game? Like, a 3D fire? Can I. Because moving up jumps. I'm trying to see how you sidestep. I don't know if Tails is gonna, like, let me do it. <laughs> Tails just. Grabbing people by their heads and lifting them up. It's terrifying some, for some reason. Oh my god. Yeah, Tails, celebrate, you stupid idiot. This should be in the... Since they just greenlit a sequel to Sonic the Hedgehog the movie, which I did see and uh, enjoy more than I expected to, there should be a Sonic the Fighters reference that should be the plot of sonic 2 is that sonic has to enter a fighting game a fighting tournament to um you know stop stop from getting his ass kicked from tails um stop eggman from doing his new next eggplant scheme and he could bring in the other character that's how you introduce the other characters easily is that well it's a tournament we got to have other combatants and that's when you introduce amy and and, and knuckles and, and charmy b and uh, Big the Cat, everybody shows up for the tournament. It's just Mortal Kombat, but with Sonic. He's gonna, I'm gonna grab him. He grabbed me first! I, you see I grabbed him first, right? Look at the replay, you see I'm a, okay, they didn't even show that part. They conveniently left out how my arm extended first to grab him, and the game said, no thanks. <sighs> Shit. But yeah, and then James Marston can be in the tournament too, or maybe he's like the referee, because he's like, no humans allowed. So he has to kind of like, or maybe he could be like Sonic, Sonic's coach. Like he's like the, um, you know, like Rocky. He's like, oh, god damn it. Uh, I'm starting to lose my train of thought because this game has suddenly gotten very challenging and it also doesn't help that um, I'm trying to figure out how to do different things and not getting a chance to like, like that. Like I would love to know how to do that. That would probably be a game changer if I could knew how to sidestep people. Cause again, the, the the way you would sidestep in like a Tekken or anything else doesn't really seem to be working. Like it just makes him jump up. But I noticed there on the shit. I'm you see every time that's how he's beating me. Maybe that maybe only Tails can do that. Maybe that's like a you know his Tails this classic sidestep that he always uses in every game. But I also realize now that there's like a barrier meter down there. So I have five barriers, like five, stop that. God damn it, that's annoying. Um, so I'm gonna have like, I have limited shield. So every time a, a barrier breaks, I, yeah, he loses one, see? So once you run out, you just can't block anymore for the rest of the fight? Shut up a bitch. <laughs> out of, mm. I just wanna stay on him until he, until he, until he can't. See, they won't even, like the AI will not let you beat them into submission. Like, they will grab you out of your combo when things start to get rough for them. And... Shit. Shit! Oh my god, Tails, he's so fast! <laughs> he's so nimble! Which I guess makes sense, because he, he's smaller and he can fly. See, you see me try to grab him, right? You saw that. I was hugging him, and he out-hugged me. No, stop! No! No! God, to beat the shit out of him when he, <laughs> he tried to <laughs> do that cheap little sidestep. Don't like it at all. Oh, so he could do it too. I don't know how to do that. Oh my god. At least the music's good. All right, I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna back up because I know he's gonna try to sidestep or grab me because he's losing. All right, back up. Not three. There we go. There we go. There we go. Give me that achievement. That's right. Stage six. Oh, Casino. Nice. Fang the... What is Fang again? Again. 
Like, Fang and, um... Fang appears in Sonic Mania. Like, he was one of the characters they added. I don't remember if, uh... Dynamite guy... Who, Be Bead? Beady? Whatever his name was? I don't know if he's in it. I know it's, like, Fang and Army... Or, uh, the Armadillo. Uh, Mighty the Armadillo. Yeah, he's really... like he's really committed to that block. But he's, uh, he's running out of barrier. Alright, me back up. He's gonna try to grab me. Oh, shit! If I knew how to sidestep... I could dodge those bullets, but it's okay. Oh, wait, he won? Well, I thought I won that for some reason. What happened? Wait, I can run up the wall? Since when? Oh, my God. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <clears throat> okay, get him. Get him when he lands. Oh, what the? What was that? Okay. Bouncing on his tail like he's Tigger. Okay. I can beat this. Yeah, Alright, come here. Fang the... Not Fang from uh, Street Fighter? Yeah, Fang's a Street Fighter character. The crazy old guy with the robot eye assassin man. I'm starting to forget because I haven't played Street Fighter since Street Fighter 4. Like, I really have not ever touched Street Fighter 5, which is uh, surprising even to me because I'm a Street Fighter fan, but 5 launched in such a piss poor manner that it just turned me off to it. By the time it got good, I was like, I moved on. Oh, are you kidding me? I forgot there was even a time limit. Oh, wow, 30 seconds. That is. But I guess the fights do win pretty quick. You can. Wait, how is he backing up? How is he dodging my grab? See, I don't know how to do You see what he's doing, right? He's like dodging my grabs. Okay, now I know. Okay, I figured out how to do that spin move reliably now. It's like down and attack, and actually it looks pretty effective. It looks like it hits their. It looks like it's a low attack. Like, I feel like I don't know if you can block it. It would just be cheap and just. Che oh, did I just. Did I cancel his bullets with my spin? And I can hold it too. Oh, that's cool. If I hold it, he'll just spin around like that. Okay, I think I found my game breaking Sonic like move like every character seems to have, to have some cheap move whether it's the stupid grab or tails is dodge which maybe means that this isn't the most uh balanced fighter i don't know what the oh <laughs> there we go just beat him up So what's the over-under? Like, what's the likelihood that so uh, Sega ever revits this idea of, like, remember we did that Sonic fighting game? Man, we should bring that back in the, in the era of Evo. With, like, you gotta get Sonic back up there. Or does this game, like, I've never been to an Evo, but I know that there's a lot of, um, you know, like, a lot of fans will run side tournaments in addition to, like, the, the actual stuff on, like, the main stage or whatever. Like, like, that's how Competitive Catherine became a thing. So I wonder, is there a Sonic the Fighter scene at EVO? Like, is there a hotel room where someone's running Sonic the Fighter tournaments at EVO? Because as absurd as that sounds, that sounds also, like, very plausible. Because it seems like there's a scene for every fighting game, no matter how obscure. So, if you're aware, let me know if there's a Sonic the Fighters, um, like, group or scene at EVO. Alright, one left. Oh, Sonic versus Sonic, but... Whoa! Robotnik? Wait, that's the final fight? Is Robotnik clones you? I assumed it would be Robotnik itself. Maybe it still is after this, but... If you don't fight Robotnik in a, in a Sonic fighting game, that, that's a misstep. I gotta like... I almost said the shadowy version of Sonic, but... You know, almost saying like Shadow the Hedgehog, basically, right? This is where the idea of Shadow came from. They're like, let's just make a shadowy Sonic. And then someone said, wait a minute, what if we... Gave him guns, a motorcycle, a really try-hard edginess, and then a terrible PS2 game. I'm gonna out spin spin dash each other. See, oh, so he can do it to so everybody. There we go. I kicked his ass. Probably because it's me. I don't know what to expect. There we go. I like how the eyes move. That's a nice touch. Like the eyes will follow the, the character. I did. Now what happens? Now you can challenge Death Egg 2. Okay, here we go. We're going to space in the Tails rocket. The Lunar Fox, which is a cool name.
Sounds like they should be in a Star Fox game. Oh, Metal Sonic. Is he the last boss? That's Metal Sonic from Sonic CD. Probably the last great, like, 90 Sonic game. At least in my opinion. Get him. Alright, I think I can break that. Break the... Block. I blocked! Well, I guess he grabbed me, so I guess that wouldn't matter. Okay, I think this is the final stage. It says final stage on the bottom. Get, get, God damn it. He has the same grab as Tails. He's got my kick, too. Is he is he the character that has all the moves? Is he like the Shang Tsung of this game? You know, like the, the guy that just knows everything? Alright. I didn't really feel like I was hitting him. I guess because he's metal, the sound effect is different, but I, I kept thinking he's blocking because it's not... The sound isn't as, uh... The sound is impactful. God, God damn it. God, you, mm. God, that grab. I hate it so much. All right, back up, back up. Oh, oh, he, he recovered real quick. Oh, what the what? What was that? Oh, he did like a Psycho Crusher or something. The camera's freaking out right there. Posing behind my back. Yeah, he's got my punches, it looks like, too. Come at me. Come at me. Kick, kick, kick. Can, can. I can, can beat this. There we go. Get, mm. uh, damn it. Damn it. Wow. Okay. I swear, if I knew how to sidestep, it would be such a game changer. I can't, why can't I grab people anymore like reliably? Why is it so hard to grab someone? I swear I'll do it, and they don't block it, but it just doesn't work. All right. Okay, you had the same idea. Wait, I did it, how'd I do it? Wait. Oh god, I don't have time to even remember, try to remember what I hit to do that. I don't know what I did. But I sidestepped somehow, and the camera changed. Like, it's this weird kind of behind the back. I don't know what's... Did I do? Yeah, you see how the camera kind of, it's kind of different now, and I don't know. It happened after I sidestepped. I don't know what I did. This is a terrible... Oh wow, that... Oh no, I thought I, I thought I killed him. I was like, wow, that worked. No, it didn't. He, uh... He canceled that shit real quick. Okay, things look back. To no, they're not. <laughs> I was like, things are back to normal, but no. It's still, this behind the back kind of perspective that is really confusing. Like, especially in terms of the controls. The, 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 it's... Thank you. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what to do. Okay, I... God damn it. God damn it, Sonic. Metal Sonic. Block, dude. Oh, he got a perfect on me. He got a flawless victory on me. Alright, has it gone back to normal now? No? AI is ruthless. I mean, I guess it should be. It's the final boss of a fighting game, but man. They were not kidding. But I guess this was an arcade game, too. Yeah, they want that money. They want your quarters. Metal Sonic will get his. That, I thought I would have a sliver of health left, but... No, not at all. Get, get, mm! God, wait, see, I did it again! I don't know how I did it! I thought I hit the triggers accidentally, but... Triggers don't seem to do anything. Oh, I, uh, they do that kick. It feels like a Shawn Michaels super kick. And the perspective is throwing me off, too. Like, it's hard to kind of see what he's going to do because, like, Sonic's body is blocking his because of the perspective. Oh, oh, whoa, what's that? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right. All right. All right.
What do you want from me here, man? What do you want from me, Sonic? If it... I've been getting my ass kicked after this perspective change because it's really throwing me off. Like, the controls are different. Like, the way... Like, the orientation of the movement. And I don't know how to fix it because I don't know how it got this way in the first place. I don't want to start over because I would start from the beginning. So I have to... I have to beat him like this. <laughs> If I want to beat this game, more or less. Yeah, can you just stay in the corner and just take it? No? Okay. Well, look how much health that takes away. It's almost like half his life. It's, hey, what the hell did he just do to me there? Shit. Oh, my Capri Sun, damn it. Oh, God. He's trying to catch me drinking. He caught me drinking. Hey, he broke my block in one hit? You see that? Like one little backhand shattered my barrier. Shit, yeah, I'm not gonna. Yeah. Signature grab finish. So how many attempts is this gonna take? So I uh what, what are we what are we thinking? Anyone taking bets right now? God damn it. Oh yes. 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 I'm trying to Oh, crap. Oh, my God. It takes away so much life. Jesus Christ. This Psycho Crusher. I do my hand cans and my fist. That's all I can really do. I got my spin dash. Yeah, he Psycho Crushes the spin dash. He's not he's probably going to grab me next. I'm trying to back up. So he, nope, he recovered with that Psycho Crusher. Come at me. Yep, see? Even when he's in the corner, just immediately block it. Okay. I was expecting him to come flying out the corner. Oh, I wish I knew how to do that. Jesus Christ. Alright, block. Block. Jeez. Block. Damn. Mm. Don't like this. It's like Sonic, Metal Sonic again. Looks cool in this style. I mean, you know, he looks. I mean, we've seen him in actual 3D, like or like better 3D, I should say, before. But you know, I, I kind of, I'm, t I'm this early 3D style of this game is growing on me. Is what I'm saying. Oh my God, he's almost dead. I got nothing for that one. All right, I had him, and then the game decided no. God, he's been blocked for so long. My block, not so much. Oh my god! I can barely beat him once, let alone twice. Stop punching me! So, um, when I was looking this up, apparently Yu Suzuki produced this game, who is, uh, more famous as the, the father of Shinmu, and I don't know what, if he was upset with, like, society or, like, life, because he would have had a hand in, in, in making this game, or at least this fight, as difficult as it is, so, I mean, maybe that's why he made Shinmu, because Shinmu's so, like, laid back, I guess, by comparison, like, they're not really doing a lot in that game. Is that like him taking a break after pouring all of his intense energy into this boss fight? Stop! No, why'd you jump? Get him! Get him! He's gonna attack me. I can't even get off the ground. He hit me while I was on. I couldn't even... I had... I was like, I was done. Couldn't even recover. God. He will always get that first hit. Like, I'm hitting the button as fast as I am, as he is to get the first attack, and he'll always get it. So you kind of have to start by defending. And you defend too long, then he drops his half-health-sucking life. Or, like, grab, I should say, and then that happens. I'm gonna beat him. I, I'm going to beat him. <laughs> I have to do it. <laughs> yes. 
see that you see how the camera I can't even see where Sonic was I couldn't even really see where to stand to counter attack or defend and then as soon as I as soon as I start the block oh wait I dodged that I don't know how I did but I did I, just, I rolled out the way again I don't know how I did it Jesus oh my god that's so loud too like the it makes it even more devastating it's just how loud it is see every time cheap shot See, I can't trust him to not grab. Stop it! <laughs> to not grab me. And I was gonna do a like, ground thing. See, I rolled there. I only mash the buttons and then he ups the roll. Oh my god, I gotta win! Holy shit! How'd I win? I love how Sonic goes cross eyed too, because he always follows the character model. So if the character model goes flying in a weird direction, Sonic looks like he's uh, on drugs. Damn it. Okay. Psycho Crusher, what are you gonna do? I don't like how he's staying. Yeah, I was like, I don't like how he's staying. Oh, yes! Yes! Oh my god, I almost knocked the capture card over. Jesus Christ, I did it. Is there anything after this? What? Please tell me not to do something here. What's happening? I hope I don't have to fight him in 20 seconds because you spent 10 of my seconds on this. Oh, no. I was like, on this. Oh, boy. How hard is this going to be? It took forever just to. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was like, it took forever just to beat Metal Sonic. Oh, boy. So you get 10 seconds and it's one fight. Okay, at least it's one. What? What? I only get one chance? Are you serious? Wait, no. I don't get to try again? Did I? I didn't accidentally quit, right? I just hit the same buttons I normally do to restart. What? What is that? You get one chance to beat Eggman. Who you don't even know his moves or anything, so you need time to like replay him to get the use to him, but you get one shot in under 10 seconds with one life? All right. Well, if nothing else, I don't want to. I want to exit. Yeah. I mean, I want to go back to the main menu. So yeah, let's uh, let's go online. I guess now we're gonna see if anyone's actually playing this game. I. Uh, yeah. Quick match. All right. No sessions were found? Are you kidding me? That's insane. Who would have thought? No one's playing this right now? What about a ranked match? Everyone's playing for stats, and right? Alright, anyone around the world playing Sonic? Well, it didn't immediately say no. So it's looking worldwide. Let's see who's playing Sonic the Fighters in 2020 right now. I wonder how long this is going to take. Hmm. Oh my god. I actually found someone. Holy shit. EX flaw. 17 battle points to my... Wow, this is... Someone's actually playing Sonic the Fighters ranked online in 2020. Okay. Opponent's gamer car. I, I, I probably shouldn't put them on blast. <laughs> like... Um, Alright. Um... I only know how to use Sonic, so that's what I'm going to stick with. Alright, Bean the Dynamite. Is this person as surprised as I am that he that they found someone? I bet this person knows exactly what they're doing. I can't believe I'm playing against another human being in Sonic the Fighters Online in 2020. That's complete a complete surprise. I did not expect to actually find someone in a ranked match. I mean, honestly, kid, you're still easier than Metal Sonic. Alright, here we go. So I'm gonna see, like, some sick... Maybe this is the person that is holding the Evo Sonic the Fighters competitions. Like, this, this player. Okay. 
Okay. Doesn't seem... Oh, see, he knows how to do... Oh, I got turned around. See, he knows... Yeah, they know how to do the thing, too. Oh, oh three rounds. Okay. Oh, I got a chance to... I want to get at least one win, right? See? It. Shit. Oh, see, keep, you keep missing that. What the... Oh, we had a little bit of lag there for a second. It felt like... Okay. Speed, speed. That's what that says on the boat, the railing there. Speed, speed. Oh, jeez. Oh, close. Oh, wow. I thought it could confuse him. I was like, ha-ha! And then, no. Not at all. Well, you win, EX Flawless XX. Congratulations on being possibly the only other human being playing this game at this specific moment in time. Uh, send a review of the opponent. No, thank you. That's fine. And, uh, yeah, I think we'll call it there. So, yeah, that is uh, Sonic the Fighters. Available on Xbox 360 and PS3 uh, probably, too. And it's a Sonic fighting game that is, uh, it looks pretty good. It plays decent, um, and it is surprisingly very hard. Or maybe not surprisingly. It was an arcade game, so it is appropriately hard. It is, But instead of taking your quarters, it just takes your patience and then eventually your soul. So uh, that is it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll be back uh, next Wednesday with another Retro Wednesdays, another old game, some more old food. I'm going to go uh, vomit up this zebra cake and pretend I never ate it. Uh, you know, Be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you like this, as well as check out the other videos on my channel. I've got Finishing the Fight, my first playthrough of Halo 3 going on right now. Two new episodes coming this weekend. I've got, of course, 30 Days of Backlog, which is the uh, the month-long series where I played a different game from my backlog for 30 days straight during uh, the quarantine lockdown here in Florida. I've got uh, some reaction videos from like recent trailers like Ghost of Tsushima. I've got Unfinished Business with Sekiro. I've got Here's What I'm playing i did a minecraft dungeons video recently all kinds of good stuff already there and cool stuff to come in the future so check that out and i appreciate your support and if you want to follow me on twitter i am at marcus stewart seven that's the number seven you can also follow me on twitch at marcus streams games i stream tuesday and thursday nights i have a playthrough of assassin's creed odyssey going on right now and you can also follow me on my personal website marcus writes about games dot wordpress dot com for all of my written game reviews for uh you know screen rant and other sites and uh, until next time, guys, thank you for watching. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you next time. Hey, if you're a Sailor Moon fan or love anime in general, be sure to check out a podcast by Moonlight. It's the podcast where I and co-host Jack Gardner watch every episode of Sailor Moon for the first time ever. We give a play-by-play -play breakdown of each episode, discuss and debate theories for where the show is headed, and... Most importantly, make a bunch of stupid jokes and idiotic observations for your listening pleasure. Every Wednesday, you can listen to a podcast by Moonlight on Spotify and Libsyn, as well as follow the official Twitter account at APB Moonlight to keep up with new content. Moon, Prism, Power, Makeup, and Subscribe.